Hey, 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 welcome. I'm Tech and welcome to another how to video. Uh, today I'm going to be working on the HP PhotoSmart 7520, which has an issue with paper tray out of paper and it would not feed the paper. So, of course, if I press OK, let's say I'm trying to print again. Hear that noise? It's trying to feed paper. As you can see, paper's in there. So there's two solutions, possible solutions to this problem. And of course, let me address it. Uh, so let's take the tray out on top here. And let me see if I can zoom in here. All right, so we're looking for here is, I get the flash right in. Let me show you if I press print again. Look at here, this part right here. that drops down and tries to collect the paper but of course it fails to do it so there's two things possibly that you can do to get a fix the easiest one of course the first one you should always try is get some paper towel soak it in water uh, in my case I'm using a little bit of alcohol as well that way it dries out faster and you want to take your hands and pull in there and just uh, rub it on the, onto the rollers and wipe down the dust that can accumulate from a uh, paper because you know the thing is dusty eventually the dust slowly accumulates on the rollers and and the rollers slip so just a paper or a cloth with water if you use a little bit of alcohol just this is mostly so that it evaporates quicker so you can get it going faster so let me do it again just do it really quick So it's hard to see, but you have to feel it with your hand. Now that you've done that, you can go ahead and put the tray back in and try it if it works. If it doesn't, we have a plan B. Nope, still doesn't work. All right, so the first solution didn't work. Uh, you know, you may want to do it, uh, clean the back rolls as well. Try to clean as many rolls as possible with the solution. If that doesn't work, of course, there's alternative problem that could happen. It's popular with those printers and many other actually HP printers. And let me show you if I can get up there. Let me put your flashlight here. So take a look over here. Some Right now, what I want you to focus on is this gear right here. So if I press print, this gear right here, it seems like it's slipping. And I believe it's supposed to slip a little bit, but I guess over time it's possible that it just gets worn out and it's slipping too much. And uh, so the quick solution to that one is, you know, take a screw of it hopefully by hand. See if you can move it to the side. Okay, here you go. That went fairly Really, so now the gear is uh, somewhere around here. Okay, where my finger is. See, see, like this gear right here? Right now it's so loose, it's just floating. It's not supposed to just float that easily. All right, so that is, since we know exactly where it is now, uh, what we're gonna do is take out the paper. Um, out of cardboard I created something like this so it has a spoon so we can lift it up because it's slightly hiding over there so it's gonna be right there right next to that screw so we gotta lift it up and of course there's a bunch of glues you can use uh, you like the E600 and then my favorite of all is the Loctite super glue the gel control one the Loctite I have a link in the description for you guys if you're just looking into it. Uh, this is the best glue I think it is because um, 
unlike super glue where it's watery running this one will uh, create a gel and I'll show you guys so you can have a few minutes to you know, prepare versus I don't want to just get it throw it on there and it's like glued so I'm gonna apply some here all right see like it's gel and it stays that way so it gives you like a uh, think a few minutes of control so this is the hard part let me see if I can do it with a camera on there as well you can see at the same time so it's gonna be right where here so now we just gotta swing the gear back into place with your hand until it matches the other one. So this is move, jiggle it around a little bit. All right. I'll just verify very quickly off camera. Right, let me see if I can give you guys a closer look. It's over here. It's aligned. See those two right here. Make sure those two gears are aligned. Now let just uh, the glue to rest. Give it like a half an hour, good half an hour, or even an hour. The longer the better. Make sure that the glue is dried, and then we're gonna try it on again. Okay. All right. So it has been about an hour. And I'm gonna put in the paper. Let's see. Let's give it a shot if it works. Oh yeah. So like I said, uh, this is probably the best glue to use because it's like a gel. Make sure you uh, you get the gear in the right position. And of course, if that works, great. If it doesn't, you know, there's also possibility there's something else with it and wrong with it, like another gear is messed up. So you never know. Hope this video was helpful. Saved you some money. If you save the money, go get get dinner or something. You know, save your or, or put it in a budget for the next printer. This is not a, a permanent fix. Most likely, it will work for quite a while, and hopefully, it does. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.